Hey everyone, I hope you guys are safe and you're happy and you're doing well and healthy. So I thought I'd pop in and say hi. Uh, people have asked where I went, what I'm doing, did I disappear? No, not really, but uh, our family dynamic got kind of crazy when COVID hit. So we ended up moving in April just because the people that uh, owned our house was coming back from Holland. So we had to uproot really fast and uh, move, which was really interesting. We never thought that we would be staying on the island and uh, we love it here. We absolutely love it here. We settled into this great little waterfront town um, and we absolutely love it. The community is amazing and it's just such a small little community. Um, I was doing a lot of volunteering by making masks for our local community and I think we're up to like 30,000 at this point. It's crazy. But with that, came a part-time job. My husband got laid off and passive income only goes so far. So I took a part-time job that I just expected to be like 20 hours a week and I was still doing masks on the side and things like that. And then it morphed into something crazy and that's what's been keeping me busy. Basically, I work for this little company. It's just the two of us. Actually, there's a couple that owns it and then me. I'm the catch-all duel. But uh, they used to make gymnastics gear. And when COVID hit, that kind of put a damper on everything because there was no more gymnastics meets and, you know, things like that. So um kind of had to reevaluate the situation. So I came in and we kind of redid some things. And now we're a small etchy shop that sells stretch fabric by the yard. We've got loads and loads and loads of fabric and things and uh, now we just sell by the yard on Etsy and it keeps us busy so it's good it's great and uh, it usually keeps me pretty busy but the crazy part is that it's morphed into something else so my boss has lived on the island for a long time and has lots of connections she also works in another local store here that's a favorite with the locals and the tourists and uh, they needed some products for their store. That's where I come into this picture. They had ideas and they needed someone to produce the products and that was me. So not only do I make and sell high-end scarves at this point, we're talking tableware, scarves, masks, pet beds, crazy Christmas ornaments, I, our island is kind of small and kitschy and uh, it's all based around the, the water and the trees and the you know Pacific Northwest and things like that. These crazy little Christmas ornaments are flying off the shelves in droves. I spend my mornings, my evenings, my waking hours making things behind two sewing machines to get out to Madrona, to get online, and to get to our local stores, and it's insane. So not only am I still doing the masks and stuff like that, it is morphed. I'm making pet beds, and just, it's nuts. So I have been really, really busy. It's a blessing for us because it keeps us, you know, it keeps us financially stable and things like that, um, but it's insane. And we downsized into a little cabin on the water in Langley and it's beautiful. I love it, but it's different and we still have um, our whole house in storage. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, we were in Colorado. We were in uh, a little bit north of Denver for my daughter's wedding. I will show you guys a picture of that, but um, it was great and fun, but it was definitely busy and we got home safe and healthy, but there was lots of wildfires there during that time. So it was a little bit scary and hectic. Um, otherwise we're just, we're just staying busy. It, the, the whole dynamic has changed. Things are still shut down on our Island, um, partially and the numbers are spiking. So we're just kind of trying to keep our bubble small and, uh, do what we can to make it through things. And, uh, just kind of stay afloat like everybody else. So it's not that I've forgotten. It's just that uh, priorities kind of switched and I had to change gears a little bit. So I miss everybody. I love um, still connecting with everyone. I'm still in the Facebook group and doing all that kind of good stuff. I still do some consulting on the side and things like that. But um, 
I will try to get back at it a little bit so that I can help you guys out. If people have any questions or video ideas that they need addressed, just let me know. Put it in the comments. I would love to hear how you guys are doing, where you're at, what things look like in your area. Um, we're staying home for the holidays. I had one kid come over the, for Thanksgiving and she picked up... Um, the care packages for all the other kids. <laughs> so we made this big Thanksgiving dinner and uh, just kind of put little packages together for everybody. And I guess they were the Thanksgiving elves that took all the food to everybody. Um, it's hard. I'll be honest, it's not easy because we can't be around our family. Um, keeping busy kind of helps us with that. But, um, you know, my husband's dad is sick in Texas and he can't be there for that. Um, can't be around our elderly loved ones and, and things like that. So, as you can see, it makes me tear up a little bit. It's, you know, I know it's the right thing to do, but does it really make it that much easier? I mean, I've got a kid that struggles with mental health, so it's just, it's hard to not, you know, be able to, you know, see them in person. <sighs> so staying busy has been what's kept us safe. That's kind of where we're at. It's, for me, it's hard because I don't have a lot of family anyway. So between my husband and my kids, I've got one extended family member that I'm close with and they're not in the state right now. So it's just, it's really hard um, to, to keep doing what we're doing for such an ex extended period of time and uh, working and having projects and stuff have, have kept me busy and preoccupied from not getting emotional about it. It's just, it's hard. Um, my dad and brother are a whole different story and uh, what they've been up to and I guess maybe if you want to hear a tragic, crazy story, I'll post a video about it. <laughs> Um, but, uh, it's just, they're on their own little adventure, I guess, filled with crime and drugs, courts, jail, bounty hunters. There's lots of stuff that could go into that story. I try not to pay attention. So that's pretty much what's going on with us. We're just trying to make it through it. And, uh, you know, we do feel a little isolated. There's nobody in the shop but me. During the day, um, my boss and I alternate so that we're not in here at the same time and, and things like that. And so we just have this little chain of command going on and it, it keeps us going. We're okay. But um, I hope you guys are okay. I hope you guys are staying healthy. And, uh, you know, we're just trying to keep our head down and keep going. With all the crazy election stuff and just where we live in the Seattle vicinity, it's just nuts. It's crazy. So, I mean, we like being on an island, but at the same time, I don't know. <laughs> so that's where we're at. Um, if it interests anybody, I broke a tooth on one of my dentures right there. It's insane. I bit down on a nut and it broke in half. So I'm thinking about getting a new set, actually. I shrunk a little bit for some reason. I don't know if that's because I lost a little bit of weight or what. All I know is that they have a little bit of movement in there now like that I didn't have before. But like I said, it's been three years and I didn't really shrink after four months. So maybe it's bound to happen at some point, but it, it stopped. It just was a short shrinkage moment, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I miss you guys. I miss everybody. And uh, let me know how you guys are doing in the comments. I just, you know, let me let me know what's going on, how you guys are doing. And, uh, 
you know, reach out to me if you need to. I'll put my contact information in this video. I will link our cute little Etsy store if anybody wants to look at it. Um, and if anybody needs some Christmas ornaments, you let me know because I am just shipping them out just in boxes full. It's crazy. Um, and uh, I'll post some pictures of my daughter's wedding because it was super awesome. For those of you guys who like creepy, weird, awesome weddings, my daughter's wedding didn't get any better than that. It is the pinnacle of gothic wedding. Guess I should expect that from my kid. I don't know. <laughs>